Now, it might seem like it's a little too soon for a winter video, but rest assured, in my area, it has already snowed overnight this month. So guess what? You guys are getting a winter video this early. Hope you are ready for some of these coziest type of fragrances. And with that being said, let's get it. Roll intro, roll video. Now I got a little bit of everything for this capsule list of what I will actually be wearing this winter, but we're finna kick it off with a community classic now, and it is Lalique Encre Noir, the OG Eau de Toilette. Encre Noir to me is my inexpensive yet high quality Swiss Army Knife winter set. If I don't know what to wear to the office, Encre Noir. If I don't know what to wear to the grocery store, Encre Noir, so on and so forth. Simply put, just checks off a lot of my personal preferences. We're talking green and woody, but dark enough that it is appropriate for the darkest of winter days. So we're talking cypress and lots of it at the top. The kind of green that you should expect from that cypress is that if you were to actually take a cypress plant and take some of its foliage and kind of grab a waff of it, kind of hits you like that. To me, that's lovely. And then with that on top of the vetiver note, and then when you get more of that vetiver note, it adds a cleaner yet masculine rub rugged, woody type of vibe. And it's not too, too rugged to the point where it isn't office safe. Actually, this would be my work scent if I had to pick one this entire list. No, I wouldn't be too apprehensive of the quote unquote inkiness. I think it's not off-putting for me whatsoever, at least in the air. But I do know some enthusiasts that do find it to be a little bit more stronger if they were just huffing it like that. That being said, it's one that I don't feel too bad for recommending to you guys for around 35 US dollars because that's how much you're getting it on the gray market for. And when you consider the actual retail price for around 100 euros, this is almost a no brainer, period. So try it already if you've yet to because this could be your next winter wardrobe essential. Again, it is Lalique Encre Noir. Up next, we have Cost Eau de Toilette. And this stuff right here is my winter daily driver after work or outside of work if I had to pick one. And I swear, upon initially testing this, it quickly became one of my favorite takes on incense ever. It's a very cool feeling scent, one that doesn't smell burnt per se, but you can get an obvious hint of smoke that is pleasant if anything. Couple that with the spice at the top and coriander, which comes off as a fleeting warmth, it's honestly a really sexy scent. Like it's almost like cinnamon Red Hots candy, so if you can envision that, I guess there. And I'd say if you are a female and you wanna rock this, this totally has femme fatale, mysterious hot girl vibes. And if you're a guy who wants to rock this, I feel like this is totally a sweeter man's type of scent. And yeah, you might think I'm overdoing it with giving it this sexy adulation and whatnot, but I do also think that this is practical in the sense of it being quite versatile. It doesn't scream off the skin, so I would say it's safe enough for office use if you feel like you had to. But again, more so, there's an obvious night owl quality to the scent that I feel like you should take the most pride in. So I cannot wait to whittle away at this 50 ml bottle here. I think it is pretty cool for a famous hotel in Paris to have its own fragrance actually. Like you have the Fairmont and shit with the Labo Rose 31 and all which is really sexy in its own way, but these guys at cost got perfumer Olivia Giacometti to properly curate what sexy, entrancing, mysterious vibe they want guests to smell like and feel like. And again, I think that is amazing. So check this out if you can. Thankfully, it won't break the bank at around 80 bucks for a 50 ml. If anything, I kind of want to grab the 100 ml eventually too, because I'm a big believer of this stuff. But yeah, I'll stop adoring it on cam for now. You know what it is now. Again, it's cost over. The toilet. Up next, we have another classic in Serge Luton Chergy, and it keeps making people's list to this day because it just works straight up. Like this is what I'd imagine for a cozy night in with the bay or on a date night out. You're trying to feel cuddly, you got those warm and fuzzy feelings, this is the right stuff. Starts off with this really nice high quality tobacco, which smells super cozy, but what makes this feel super unique is a touch of hay. I know people are divided on the hay note, but for me, I love it. It's really out of left field and totally on brand for Serge Luton because that's how they distinguish Chergy, which would otherwise feel like other night out tobacco scents. So the hay is truly more down to earth and rustic feeling, if that makes any sense. Again, really neat stuff. Then come the dry down, the note of honey is a deep sweetness that is really lovely. Just be careful with overspraying this one because for me, it actually does project quite heavily for quite a few hours. I'd say even beyond an arm's length for that long. So I guess it 
just depends on your skin chemistry and or how cold and or dry it is wherever you're at. But also, as you can see, this juice is dark. So don't spray this on lighter clothing as it may stain. Or hey, maybe you want to chance it because you're an ardent clothing sprayer like myself, but at least I warned you now. And speaking of warnings, I guess the other thing I think I need to warn you about is the price. Because way back when, like this pre-new presentation, Serge Luton Chergy in this paper label used to hit the gray market at even mid-range designer prices. But that was then and this is now. Because circa summer 2021, Serge Luton no longer has any North American stockists. So that means there's next to nothing here to liquidate anymore. And as a result, gray market prices are a bit higher if you do find it. But if you do find it now, thankfully the new presentations I feel are comparable in scent and performance to this older batch. So regardless, it can't hurt to jump on it because if it's not for you, you can probably just deal it on a forum afterwards and even break even. So yeah, check it out. Again, it's Sir Chutan Chergy. Up next, we have Frappant Checkmate and we are totally switching it up with a still classic brand and Frappant, but actually their newest offering. Now sure, fragrance is supposed to be nostalgic, but this in inspiration truly is, as it is based on the founder of Frappant sitting down with his son over a game of chess outside in their garden. So here it opens up with a juicy bergamot, but not too juicy with the warm and fuzzy cardamom, very hard to hate stuff. But when you think the scent with that opening can go in the direction of a La Nuit or something like that, it actually goes in a different one that is rather sensual. Leather and or suede is here and it's super smooth when accompanied by the heliotrope, which is a softer vanilla e floral, if that makes any sense. Very pretty and minimalist as far as how smooth everything feels. And I simply cannot emphasize the word smooth here. And when I smell it, I might not be taken to a picturesque time and place ASAP in my mind, but I do feel like I should be ultimately doing something quote unquote nice with it, like a lunch date or something like that. You know, your mundane yet daily activities that you actually look forward to. So if you want that level of minimalism that you're kind of seeing with newer brands as of late, but with the theme or a touch of nostalgia in mind, definitely check this out. But I will say this too, if you can try, try this. And if you do like it, buy that MSRP, which as of this video is 165 US dollars for 100 mls because Frappant seldom lists for MSRP or lower on the gray market. And in fact, like you see here, they list for even higher. So please remember that gray market retailers are not always discounters. These stores actually sell stuff at the highest that they think people would actually buy them at, which a lot of time sure is lower than MSRP still. It's just for Pons and I presume a lot of other brands are still not lower than MSRP because they probably bought it wholesale liquidated at a way higher rate than other items from other brands. That's all. So again, just try it and maybe buy it retail already. Again, it's Frappant Checkmate. And last but not least, here we go with my final offering, rounding out the top five from least to most expensive. It's Parfum MDCI Sheep Palatin. And if I actually had formal occasions to go to this winter, but I don't because of this lingering pandemic, this is a scent I'd use for them. Guys, Sheep Palatin is really cool. You truly get this sophisticated scent pyramid approach here going from stage to stage to stage. So at first you get Galbanum, which is super green and aromatic, but also brightened up by a bit of clementine and hyacinth. If anything, it's as masculine as a sheep would actually open, but 20 to 30 minutes in, it kind of gives way to plum. It kind of makes the rose smell jammier, and admittedly, this is actually where the scent kind of loses me, because I truly enjoyed how green the scent opened, and I actually would want a little bit more of that. But thankfully, within the latter part of an hour, you get more greenness again, but this time a little bit more earthy in the form of oak moss. I historically like mossy scents, and this is no exception. Very classy stuff, and in combination, with the total balsam, it's also a very warm kind of ambery sweet. And this as far as skin scent territory is pretty cool for me. But with that being said, those sentiments don't come cheap because I've never seen it list on the gray market and we're talking $375 for a 75 ml. Or if you don't care too much for the Epic Bus lid like me, $250, which is still nothing to sneeze at. So hopefully you can try it wherever it is convenient for you too. And hopefully unlike me, 
you have the occasions for it wherever you are. Again, you know what it is. Rounding out my top five for winner, it's Parfum MBCI Sheep Palatin. Now that's about it for me, Forum. Thanks for watching. Really miss you guys. It's been a minute. If it is your first time here though, please like and subscribe if you've yet to, and also hit the notification bell if you wanna be among the first people to come back for content just like this. Also tell me in the comment section below if you guys like this list, if you didn't like this list, if I missed anything, or if you have anything you wanna say about any of the fragrances here or my takes, I'm always just looking forward to seeing what you guys actually have to say. And again, thank you for just giving me the time that you are taking to say these things. So that being said, I guess just thank you overall for the ongoing support despite these months of emptiness from me. You guys are so awesome. So yeah, I cannot wait to do more of this sort of thing. Take care for now. Peace out. Bye. My name is Manny. Where are your fragrances?